Hello friends, welcome to Astra Crescent. My name is Pawan Bhartwaj. Today I am going to install the ZWO Electronic Autofocuser EAF on my Celestone Edge HD 8 inch telescope. So let's do it together. If you are using your telescope only for observations, then you may not need the electronic autofocuser at all. And you can adjust your focus manually. You need not spend money on, on uh, expensive gadgets. When we use our telescopes for astrophotography, for imaging, autofocus is very important because you cannot stay with your telescope all night. Autofocus function makes sure that the, the optics remain in focus throughout the imaging session, throughout the night. As recommended, autofocus is required number one, start of every session, number two, at least every two hours. Some people do every hour. After change in filter, after moving the scope to a new object, or every new object you can see, and after auto meridian flip, any of these circumstances can change the focus of the imaging train. The EAF makes sure that our imaging train remains in focus throughout the imaging session, throughout the night. Let's see what comes in the box. When you buy the ZWO electronic autofocuser, what you get is the focuser itself. A two meter long USB 2 cable. A bracket which are unfortunately cannot be used for uh, edge HD telescopes two hex keys some hex nuts and there are four couplers none of these couplers can be used on uh, SCT or Edge series of telescopes so what we need is a ZWO EAF bracket for Celestone C8 and 9.25 inch telescopes. Let's see what is in this box. So with this packet, which you have to buy separately, you get this packet, you get this special coupler. On one side, the hole is the same for every packet, all four of them, and this one, because this goes on to the uh, EAF side. The other one is made specially for C8, C9, Edge HD8 and Edge HD 9.25 inch telescopes. Before we start the installation, uh, there are a couple of things that I want to mention. Number one, it is better that you do a rough focus of the telescope during daytime on a distant object. And number two, make sure the mirror flop knobs let me show you here. The two mirror flop knobs, they are not tight. I will move the camera closer and move the scope this way so you can clearly see what I am doing. Another important caution that I would uh, like to recommend uh, that you re remove the camera and uh, your filter drawer in case you are using a monochrome camera, remove the filter wheel as well. And, and when you do that, uh, make sure you put back the dust cover on top of the reducer lens to prevent any damage. You can install the EAF uh, while the telescope is on the mount. I would prefer to remove the telescope from the mount and uh, put it on my table so I can easily install the EAF. To start our preparations, what we need to do first is to remove uh, this plate from the bracket. The hex keys are supplied with the EAF. So we will remove this plate. We will remove the rubber cap from the focuser knob. This can be a little tricky. Now you might notice that it may not be possible to pull this 
sleeve with hands. So there's a little trick here as suggested by Cody from Astro Blender. I'll give the link in the description. Take a screwdriver. And just put it down here and gently push the sleeve out while pulling it with the other hand. There you go. Next, we will remove these three screws. So next we will take this plate and match these one, two and three screws with these three and use the longer hex bolt. This takes a little patience here. So I'll tighten only up to half and then try to match the second slot. Now the third one will be easy. Now I can tighten the other two as well. Next, take the plate and now we will use the third slot from this side. So when this is done, uh, we will attach the coupler to the focuser. There's a cut on the shaft. Uh, one of these two screws uh, should be on, on the cut, should go into the cut like this. So I'll try to attach this one first and then attach the whole thing to this assembly. The longer, smaller hex key will be used here. I just want to make sure that uh, the metal does not touch the metal. There is some gap here so that they, they don't rub with each other. Uh, about one millimeter gap over here. And then tighten it from the other screw as well. This way. So once again, make sure they don't rub with each other. Also, we have to make sure that the focuser will be attached to this side of the bracket. So when this is done, we will attach the two screws with this bracket. I hope you can see that. So I'll tighten them with hand first. One thing we have to make sure that uh, this coupler should not be strained. It should not be tight from this side and loose from this side, you know, more gap on uh, this side and less gap on this side. If it is so, uh, we can adjust these two and make sure these slots are even. So just gently hold it from here and now we can tighten these two screws. So make sure everything is perfect and now we can tighten all the screws. You notice there is some gap here, but uh, there's nothing to worry about that. The focuser shaft is long enough and the shaft of the electronic focuser is also long enough to get a good hold, good grip on the coupler. The USB cable that comes with the electronic autofocuses is two meter long. I would prefer to use a smaller cable because I just need to connect this to the ZWO ASI, which is on this side. I 
uh, I will now check whether the EAF works or doesn't work with my ASI Air and using my iPad. You can see in other devices it is now showing me EAF. No electronic filter wheel but EAF is now being shown here. Let me go to EAF. Yeah, EAF, electronic autofocus that is shown as on current temperature 30.8 degrees Celsius and current position it is showing 27,857. I'll check that when I actually do the imaging. Let me try to move it from the go to button. Let's see what happens. Let me go to 20,000. Move. It is moving. Hopefully you can see that the shaft is moving. stopped I'll move it back to the other direction okay I'll move it back to 27,000 here yeah. that means the EAF is working with ASI Air other settings I'll check when I take uh, this whole setup outside whenever the weather permits so that's it for today. Uh, I hope this video was uh, informative. It was useful. If I missed anything, please let me know in comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, clear skies.